so today's lesson is about splines and how to use them. Um, oftentimes we don't have a whole major use for splines unless you're doing consumer product design and everything's going to be nice and curvy and everything like that. Well the question was how do you use a spline and can you edit it? Uh, so I figured we would uh, combine this one. So what we're going to do is first we're going to open the customize that was a right click anywhere anywhere blank to get your customize menu up and let's select command go into sketch and right here you're going to left click and drag this over here as you can see I already have a couple so Once you drag it over there, select OK. We're going to left click our front plane, create a sketch, select our sketch picture icon, select your reference picture. OK, so a friend has a guitar and he wanted to know if he could draw it. Okay, so over here, <coughs> excuse me, um, it's it's editable, and as you see me tug on this, the dimensions start moving with respect to that. Um, for this particular tutorial, we're not going to worry about the size. Okay, one thing I do want to show you is the transparency select full image and what I really want to do is is really lighten that guy up okay it doesn't matter on maybe a single view like this because the contrast between the red and the white background is actually pretty good but when you start using um, three and four views you're gonna want to lighten it up okay let's just go in and look at it from the isometric view um, but know that transparency is there I'm gonna lighten it up select OK let's go normal 2 and like anything else you can dimension this guy too no nope. alright now let's stay focused here select the spline and start drawing the guitar. Sometimes you've got to uh, yank it out a little bit to to kind of get it to lay down, but once you start it, you'll kind of get the feel. Especially the more mechanical guys that haven't used it. I'm going to go right across this net. No, I'm going to terminate it right there. Okay. And I'm going to start back over here. Now there's a, uh, a method that's used for 3D games, movies, and fairly solid modeling approach that you would draw half of the item. You know, we're gonna we'll make a video of that too. Okay, right here you just want to add a couple of extra so you get that spline going the correct way. I'm gonna go all the way over here. Okay, so the question was, how do I edit this? Look at this here isn't isn't sitting right on there. Well, every spline has a whole host of handles. This diamond allows you to move it. You know, I don't want to say left to right, up to down, up and down, but if you think of uh, the diamond moving in the direction of its points, that will help you. And here you can tug on the 
this little dot and that will help in the event you have um, you, you know sometimes it's like oh I wish I had I have too much rope so you see how it, um, it it's too big there but I like the curve well I can dial it back and really seat it right down where these bezier handles once you get used to them are, are a lot of fun okay so if you start tugging on these and playing with that really gonna start popping for you so once you uh, like your design you can extrude everything there and there you go we, we can uh, throw a nice little fillet on it and there's the start of your guitar hope you enjoyed this video we'll See you soon.